Acid nomenclature. First, let's define the two basic types of acids. A binary acid gets its name from the fact that it only has two elements. A binary acid is an acid formed by a bond between hydrogen and a non-metallic element. Examples of binary acids are HF, HCl, H2S, HI, and H2O. The second basic type of acid are oxy acids. This is an acid formed by a bond between hydrogen and a polyatomic ion containing oxygen. Examples of these are HNO3, H2CO3, H2SO4, and H3PO4. For binary acid nomenclature, binary acids always begin with the prefix hydro to indicate the hydrogen element. The second part of the name is formed by the root of the second element and the su suffix ic, I-C. Given certain formulas, we can figure out the names of these acids. For HF, a binary acid, the prefix is hydro, the root is fluor from fluoride, and I-C is the suffix, giving us hydrofluoric acid. For HCl, we again begin with the prefix hydro. The root is chlor from chlorine. The suffix is ic, giving us hydrochloric acid. For the formula H2S, the prefix is hydro. The root is sulfur. The suffix will be ic, giving us the name hydrosulfuric acid. And for the formula HI, we use the prefix hydro. The root becomes iod from iodine. The suffix is ic, giving us the name hydroiodic acid. For oxy acids, nomenclature follows the basic rules. First, oxy acids will get their root from their polyatomic ion. The second part of the name is based upon the suffix of that polyatomic ion. An acid whose ion that ends in eight, the suffix will end in ic. And an acid whose ion that ends in it, the suffix will end in ous, us. For the formula, HNO3. This is an oxy acid because of the polyatomic ion nitrate. The root comes from nitrate, NITR. The suffix will be ic because of the nitrate ending in ATE, giving us the name nitric acid. For the formula HNO2, here we have the ion nitrite ending in ITE. We keep the root NITR. The suffix will be OUS because of the it ending, and we get the name nitrous acid. For the formula H2SO4, this is the sulfate ion SO4, giving us a root of sulfur. Because of the 8, we're going to end in ic, giving us sulfuric acid. For H2SO3, we are dealing with the ion sulfite ending in ITE. So we're going to add to the root sulfur. We're going to add a OUS because of the ITE, giving us the overall name sulfurous acid. Let's look at a few more examples. HBr. This is a binary. Binary acids use the prefix hydro. The root from the ion bromine is brome. We're going to end in ic, giving us a name, hydrobromic acid. H2CO3. This is an oxy acid because of the polyatomic ion CO3. CO3 is carbonate, ending in ATE. So to the root carbon, we're going to add ICE because of the 8, giving us carbonic acid. HC2H3O2, polyatomic ion, C2H3O2 is acetate. The root we will use is ACET from acetic. IC comes from the 8 at the end of acetate, and we get acetic acid. One last example, 
H3PO3, polyatomic ion is phosphite. We'll use the root phosphor. However, this time it's going to end in OUS because of the ITE ending on the polyatomic ion, giving us a name of phosphorus acid. This same pattern can be used for most acid nomenclature.